How to create a one-page website on Wix. Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you how you could achieve a one-page effect on your website using Wix.com. If you don't know, a one-page means all of, of the content of your website will be available in one entire page. So your users can just scroll down to view other parts of your website. And we will be showing you how you could achieve this using Wix.com. Now, step one is to, of course, make sure that you have logged into your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can easily sign up into Wix absolutely for free. But once you're logged in, this is the page that you're supposed to see, which is Sites. Under Site, this is where you will be able to view all the different websites that you have worked on before. This is where you can select a site to edit, view, and open its dashboard. So over here, simply click on Create New Site to be here on the top right. After that, we will be redirected to another page. Now right now in Wix, there are two types of editor. You have the Wix Studio and the Wix Editor. The Wix Studio is perfect for agencies and freelancers. So if you're an agency or a freelancer who wants to create a one-page website, you can also use this editor if you want. But for me, I prefer using the Create on Wix Editor or the Wix Editor that is the old version. Now there are AI in Wix, so if you want help creating your website, you could also click on Start Chat. But for us, I prefer using the setup without AI and not get help from AI because I want a higher level of customization where I myself create the details. So let's go with the setup without AI and move on to the next step. Now, these beginning steps are very important, especially this next step that we are going to enter, which is the kind of website. The kind of website is very important because the way Wix will process will depend on your type of website. There are certain types of website that would redirect you to the dashboard, which is basically the back end of Wix directly, for example, online stores. But there are also websites that will allow you to design it right away. So simply, let's select a very simple website for now. Let's go with a portfolio. Select that. Now the cool thing about Wix is that you will be able to specify what type of portfolio you want. You could have like PR portfolio, journalist portfolio, film student portfolio, and many, many more that are specific. If you want a specific type template, you could select that as well. So for example, let's go with the journalist portfolio. And simply click on next. Now we're simply going to name our business or name our website. You could choose any option that you want. But for me, I'm not going to enter one for now. So let's move on. Now over here, this is where you will be able to select the features of your website. Now the more features that you select, the more features you're going to add later on on your one page website. So of course, the recommended uh, features are recommended for you are recommended for your kind of website so you can enable it or not it depends on your preference you could also enable other features that are not really related to your output so for example you have food orders over here if you want to have some food orders or if you want to have uh, like customization using the pricing plans it all depends on you for me i selected the portfolio and let's click on next now over here, as you can see, you could choose to start with a dashboard where you could check out the back end or you could begin designing your site. Now we're going to go with designing our site because this is where you will be able to do the one page setup. Now as you can see here, you have different types of templates. Simply choose the template that you like the most. For example, here we have a creative CV. Let's simply click on edit so that we could uh, visit the website and actually make some changes now, As you can see it will have this loading screen now. It might take a while uh, Sometimes it takes a few minutes or just a few seconds to set up But for us we're going to wait for a few minutes and I'll get back to you guys once it is finished Okay, here now we have our website generated it's going to add the features that we have selected as you can see, it's adding the Wix portfolio and the Wix chat earlier. So give it a few seconds and there we go. Now it's going to give you a quick tour from what uh, type of things that you will be able to do such as elements, section, page, and menu. 
So let's exit that for now. now. As you can see, we only have right now one page. And there are other parts of the website such as resume, projects, contacts, and portfolio. Now our goal is to have all of those stuff present right away in one page. So to be able to do this or to be able to achieve that is to hover in between two sections. And you will be able to see this option add section. Simply select that and you will be able to choose the options or the different parts of a website over here on the left side. So if you want to have an about page, simply select that and you will be able to see options over here. Then simply select the one that you want. So drag and drop it and you will be able to add it over here. Now you have your about page over here. Then you could add another one. And you have here gallery, contacts, features. So simply choose all the contents of your website that you want to add. So uh, you can also check out save sections. You can reuse sections if you want. So let's actually add maybe like uh, features. Over here, you have this one. Uh, you can drag and drop it once again. Select that. Then let's add another one. Go add it to the bottom. Uh, let's say I want to add promotion. Some promotional sections. Something like this. Of course, specify the sections that you're going to add that will fit to your type of website. So since this is a journalist portfolio, you should add similar items or similar sections to your website. So it doesn't look weird or doesn't have parts that aren't supposed to be there. We also have gallery over here. Let's try adding a gallery. Uh, for example, this one. Let's drag and drop it just like that. And right now we have a few sections. We have one, two, three, and four. But they just drop. I don't think it dropped. But anyway, let's try adding one more to our uh, page over here. Uh, there we go. You now are able to view the image gallery. Let's try adding one more section to our website. Make sure it's a bit laggy, but anyway, let's try looking for the add section. There we go. Simply choose lastly, maybe subscribe or services. Let's drag and drop this just like that. And now assuming these are all the parts that you want to appear on your website. Now you have this entire thing, all of the parts of your website that you want in one entire page. And you can add as many options as you want. You could customize them as well by simply hovering over the specific part and clicking on the element that you want to edit. So after doing that, after doing your customization, after putting everything you want to one page, simply click on publish and you will be able to publish and go live with your site. So there we go as you can see. And that's basically it guys. So if you enjoyed this video guys, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.